Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Artillery Gear video. So if you guys are not aware, we did check out this game Artillery Gear Fusion on the JP server a couple of months back. Somewhere last year if I'm not mistaken, end of last year. Now obviously I did play the game for a couple of weeks when it first came out in JP, uh, playing it on the JP server. It was pretty fun for sure. Definitely one of the more unique games out there. It's been compared a lot to Epic 7 as well. Now before we proceed with today's game, this game is sponsored by LD Player. If you guys are not aware, LD Player is an Android emulator right now. I'm running this on an LD Player as you guys can see, 4.0.6.7. Now as far as I know, this game specifically needs a 32-bit variation. So if you guys try to play on a 64-bit variation, it may or may not work. I did try this previously during the JP uh, server launch on the 64-bit version and usually it will fail. So if you guys are playing this on LD Player, make sure you guys use a 32-bit variation. I'll have my referral link in the description below so you guys can directly download from there. So the thing with LD Player is, if you guys can't find this game on your Play Store, you can also use the LD Store, all right, to search for the games, usually if it's not available in your region. Just go to the LD Store and search for Artery Gear. So yeah, feel free to download a LD Player via my referral link in the description below if you guys are interested. Let's jump into the video. Alright, so at the beginning of the game, you'll get to select between two server, uh, Pacific server or America server. So I decided to choose Pacific server. Uh, I'm not sure if ping on this game matters, but as far as I know, there's PvP as well. So let's jump into a couple of things to show you guys uh, a few game modes of the game. Now, before you start playing the game, something that I noticed, uh, you gotta do this, alright? Or else your game is going to be stuck at the lowest performance ever. Go to the settings if you can. So find for the settings. Um, wait, it's not that one. So click on the top right, uh, it's blocked by my face cam but you can see these particular three lines right here, so click on that. Uh, settings, go to the resolution. So by default it will be set to low and 30 FPS, so make sure you guys increase it to 60 FPS and high. And make sure to click save afterwards, thank me later because this will help uh, your game to look at the highest possible, best possible settings. Alright, so on day one when you log in, you will be able to obtain uh, the unlimited reroll ticket so make sure you guys use that to your benefit now let's talk about rerolling in this game all right so rerolling is going to be a little bit different now uh we do have an unlimited reroll in this game if you go into recruit you can see there's this server launch celebration recruitment all right but rerolling in this banner uh definitely is good for sure to get certain characters that you want the problem is one of the strongest character in this game aka alice She's not available in this banner right here. You can go to the rules, drop rate, you can check. So uh, this game actually, there's a lot of meta 4 stars. Uh, I would recommend Alice because she's kind of good. Uh, I do have her on my JP server. Uh, she gives extra turn to one more of your DPS character, which is quite insane. And you can see she's not here. She's not present here in the, in the 4 star section, right? So you don't see any Alice right here. So this one is going to be the unlimited reroll. But you should be rerolling on either this banner, these two banner, right? So one, you get this character, which uh, Shura right here. So she's quite good. And I would highly recommend rerolling here once the official launch comes. Keep in mind now it's the CBT. I'm not sure if you guys want to reroll on CBT. Most likely, they're going, there's going to be data wipe anyways. So if you put too much effort into rerolling, there's a chance that everything will be wiped eventually. So I wouldn't put the effort right here right now. For now, just enjoy the game as it is. But this is going to be the banner that I'm going to pick. Uh, I'm going to show you guys which character. As you guys can see, Shura is right here. She is quite good. Uh, if you can get Sirius, it would be quite nice as well. Sirius is this girl right here. Right, this one. 
Shura series, uh, we're also gonna have uh, Alice, which is a 4 star right here. She's probably one of the most broken characters in the game for a 4 star. You should want to try to reroll for her because she's not available in the beginner banner. Now obviously, uh, most players focus will be on PvE, so I'll leave a link to this PvE tier list uh, in the description below so you guys get a better grasp. Uh, as you guys can see, let me try and zoom in a little bit. So you guys can see this is Alice like I've shown earlier. Uh, also we have the Sirius and what's his name again? Shura right here. Alright, so if you guys notice, let's see, Jinja is also not too bad. I did have her on my JP account, but she's someone that you can obtain in the in the reroll banner anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about her. But Milvers is also not too bad if you obtain her, but it's just that Shura is better overall. So yeah, those are the reroll targets if you're trying to get into, like I said, uh, it's ideally better to basically farm in the story until you get 1800. If you really want to reroll, once you get that 10 pull, go through this in this uh, get Shura if you can alongside with Alice. And then right here, in this unlimited reroll, this one is going to be a different story. You can basically reroll for the remaining characters or any of the DPS 5 star that you want. So let's go here. Uh, we're going to do this since this is an unlimited reroll. This is something that every player should be able to do early on. So you can only get one 5 star. But the amount of fast 4 star that you get, which is the purple one, is going to be limited. So as you can see, we got Kana right here. Alright, so this is Kana. We got two Kana. Um, this is Andy. Let's see. Let's see if I could recognize any of these. Obviously, they are all Mac girls design. Um, Mako right here. Pal, plenty of lollies. I don't think she's that good. A-F-A-I-K. Roko. Okay, so this is the five star. So let me see if I can recognize this five star. Auto Luna. Oh, okay. So she's not bad. This character right here. This one is unlimited reroll, so you can just keep continuing until you get what you want. So you can see one purple. I think I've gotten four, uh, one yellow and four purple before. I'm not sure what's the amount of purple you can get maximum. I've heard somebody uh, manage to. Okay, this one is not too bad. This uh, this girl right here. But I don't think I'll be keeping that. So let's see if I can get even luckier. So Caroline. Okay, so Winnie right here. So the three star have very good art. I think overall the game just has very good art and aesthetics. I do like it. Uh, a bunch of the, the girls, the L2D are very good. I like that, you know, you get the L2D by default. Alright, not certain game that they just lock L2D behind the higher rarity characters. Like 5 star, get L2D. 3 star, no L2D. I hate games like this. Like, at least this game, you know, is consistent. Alright. Okay, so we got 2 purple right here. So let's see what do we get. Roes, Caroline, I already got her before. Okay, so this is the 4 star, I believe, Dean. She's one of the 4 star that you can get. 5 star shall be? Who will this be? Oh, this is Spider, right? Oh, okay. So she's the 5 star supporter, uh, Jinja. She's not too bad. Uh, can I show her skills here? I guess you can't view the skills here, but yeah, she's not too bad of a, a character. One of the better ones, actually, to reroll from, from the beginner banner. Alright, like I said, overall the design and aesthetics of this game, definitely very good. Uh, if you guys are interested, for sure, I would highly check it out right now, it's the CVT. And apparently, okay, who do we get? Oh, Tufel. Okay, I might consider sticking to this, let's see. 15 minutes in, this is the, the best one I got. Uh, 1 yellow, 1 5 star and 3 4 star. Let's try to do another 15 minutes and see if we can get better. Alright, this is... Uh, Herein. It would be nice if they can put some voice into it as well. Okay, Angelica is here, which is good. Uh, I do appreciate her. She is, as far as I know, not too bad. Nemophila is here. So she's also my 4 star. Katie! Alright, 3 4 star right here. Who's the 5 star? Oh wait, is this a spider girl? Oh, this is a ghost. I guess I'll take this, I'll give her a shot, you know? I've never tried her before and since this is a CBT, I'll be sticking to this account. Let's go. Okay, so let's jump into one combat to show you guys 1-8, uh, the gameplay hopefully. Now these are the characters that I'm using right now. Uh, Angelica, KT, Ghost, and Neo. So if you guys are not aware, there's also support in this game. So support what they do, uh, they don't really participate in battle, but they support. Alright, so you can see there's artillery support, air support, and also the equipment deployment, right? So let's jump into battle and show you guys. One thing that I like about this game is the customization behind how you can auto. I know this sounds crazy, but let me show you guys. You can see, uh, 
let's say this character right here, Ghost, this is my 5 star, right? I can click on the plan, right? And then I can choose how I want to auto in terms of autoing, in terms of the AI, right? I can prioritize to use skill 3 first, skill 2 and then skill 1, or I can basically use skill 2 first and then skill 3 or skill 1, and I can choose which target to prioritize. Alright, prioritize the target with lowest HP or the target with the highest HP. And if you are a healer, you're also going to get something similar. So, um, it's pretty insane. You have multiple plans, presets for how you want to auto. Which I don't think I've seen this in any other games before. Correct me if I'm wrong. But if you guys have seen this in any other games before, this is... I think this is like a big uh, quality of life that I do like. On how you want to like auto uh, certain battles, certain stages, depending. So let's leave it on full auto and I'm gonna just gonna show you guys at 1x speed. Hands off, we're gonna see a tactical support. Alright, so they want me to try out the tactical support. So this is the part uh, let's use for artillery, air support. So the support from the back. Very cool animation, I like it. Boom. Wow, there's a lot of damage. Crazy. Alright, so basically you have your main characters and you have your support characters at the back, uh, which support some, some of them deal DPS, some of them basically gives you defense things along those lines. Alright, let's just auto through this and hopefully you guys can see all the flashy combats going on. So this is my 5 star ghost right here. I do like her. You do get her in the... Uh, use her for a short while at the beginning as well in the tutorial. So she is pretty good as you guys can see. So ideally you want them to focus on the boss. That character just gives shield I believe. And yeah, I'm not, do not doing too bad. A bunch of max. That is the wave 2, so let's see what happens in wave 3. Ah, I'm fighting a trumpet girl. Pretty cool. So ideally, focusing on the boss is better, because if the boss die right here, the minions die as well. So you shouldn't hit the minions, you should hit the boss directly. Um, that's the way to go. What gacha game nowadays doesn't have this? Dormitory, everybody's favorite game mode. Alright, so if you guys are not aware, you can basically go to the fleet details. Right, this is the lobby. You can click on your character. That one is a guess. I guess this is my character. Interaction. Wow. So you can tap on her, I guess. Oh, and she loves it, right? Yo, every game has this, right? What game doesn't have this nowadays? You can give gifts as well. My favorite. Yo, she's exercising. Ah, oh, so cool. So kawaii, right? So yeah, uh, dormitory feature is here if you guys love it. I believe a lot of people like it. That's why it's always in every single game that I see. I don't think there's a game that's released nowadays that doesn't have dormitory features. Alright, so alongside with that, obviously, what else can you do in dormitory? You can upgrade stuff. Right, you can collect gold in this case. Alright, you can also upgrade uh, to basically be able to get more capacity in terms of the efficiency and stuff. So yeah, those are the things in the game. I don't have arena unlock yet. I'll try to make a separate video for it, but hey, if you guys want to download it for yourself, feel free to download it via the LD store in the LD player. I'll have my referral link in the description below again. As always, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and let me know what you guys think of Artery Gear CBT. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.